friends, what's up? Out and about again. Today I'm heading out to um, Family Power Sports. I believe in Spicewood. <clears throat> it's about 50 minutes from my house. Right there, there's going to be a meetup uh, of a group of lady riders that are in a group called Femmoto haven't met any of them but it's uh, they're having their sixth kind of anniversary and welcomed all riders so go check it out meet some meet some people check out some cool bikes that's what I like to do uh, so I've got I said about a 45 50 minute ride to get there and my helmet's steaming up I've got my uh, pin lock thing in, but I think it's my glasses that are steaming up, not the visor. So I'm just going to have to keep my helmet cracked. It's uh, 55 degrees here today, so it's not too cold. But So I'll catch up back with you later. We'll do a little fast montage speed ride to the destination. How you doing? Okay, how are you? Good. Do you mind if I film your bike? No, no, no. It's nice. I love it. Did you have a nice ride? Yeah. When the sun's finally come out. Oh, yeah, that was great. Yeah. I got sprinkled on a little bit, and then the sun came out. I was like, yay. Yes. I started to get cold when it was, when it was drizzling. I was like, no, stop. <laughs> and it did. Okay, we're here at Family Power Sports. Having a little get together. Look at all the bikes, Woo, fun stuff. Over there having a little gathering, have some pizza and some giveaways, go check it out. All right, we're here with John. Met John here at the uh, the gathering here at Family Power Sports. How's it going, John? Very good. How about you? Handshake. <laughs> so we were just chatting. Uh, it's the first time I met John, and uh, you didn't ride your your motorcycle. So every this is like a meetup, but you didn't yeah. even you didn't know about it. You I came know. here to buy something. Yeah. The thing is, I don't have and you Facebook, drove. so I I didn't notice that it was posted everywhere on Facebook. I just got Instagram. That's my only social media. So. I got here to buy a one wheel, and then whenever I open up the door, it's like all my friends are here. I'm like, yes, <laughs> what's going on? <laughs> That's cool. What, what do you what do you normally ride for uh, I motorcycles? Got a, uh, Ducati uh, 1200 Enduro. 
Uh -huh. That's mainly what I ride. And then my city bike is a little Husqvarna 401 that I love. I really enjoy riding that little 401. Oh, that's cool. You can rip it around corners and factory quick shifter, so you can bank through gears, full throttle, and it's just so much fun. <laughs> And we were talking about cars too. So you work, you uh, work on cars. Yeah, or? yeah. I'm a European technician, so I specialize on Porsches and BMWs. And where's that? Uh, South Congress and Willem Cannon, in a shop called Eurofed. Eurofed. Uh, Eurofed. Yeah. Okay, I'll have to check that out. Yeah. So you, you're, uh, you guys have any? Uh, you're talking about like meetups that you guys do, or? Yes. So I try to do it every last Friday of the month. So now the 27th. January 27th of 2023. It's going to be the next meet. So uh, everybody's invited. Bring your cars, bikes, dogs, friends, family. Uh, barbecue starts at 5. Hovercraft, so, whatever you're driving. Whatever, whatever, whatever you're driving or riding, just bring it and come meet oh, cool, cool people and hang out and enjoy life. Very nice. Did you did you join the raffle? Yes. Yeah, I got one. My yeah. wife has it. All right, that's cool. We'll wait for the raffle and see if we get lucky. Yes. <laughs> See what comes up. All right, John. It's nice to meet you. Nice to meet you, brother. Take care, man. Have a good day. What'd you, what, John? John, what did you get? I got blood. 805. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> if you have quad lock or SP Connect and you win this, you're going to switch over immediately because. The magnet on this thing is insane. It also offers MagSafe charging, and it is the best system I've used so far. 793. Let's go! <laughs> What's up? We're here with Bianca. Hello. Hi. How are you? Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. Yeah, so I saw your ad on Facebook, and this is your sixth anniversary right yes, so tell us a little bit about the, the group you run and uh, the name and all that good stuff yeah so Fomoto was founded in 2017 it was founded out of a place of finding myself not having any friends and not knowing who to ride with and coming out of a relationship going what what do I do now <laughs> I really enjoy motorcycles but I don't know how to ride them with people I didn't know anything about maintenance I didn't know anything about anything so I um so I started, so I found, I saw a few, I kept seeing girls out at like bike nights. I kept going to bike nights and because I was just trying to meet people, anybody. Yeah, yep. And um, so I kept meeting girls kind of in a similar situation as me, like had a guy or was in a boring relationship and then didn't have, and then didn't know what to do now, right? Because they had broken up or whatever and didn't know who to ride with. So I was like, maybe we should start a group. So I just like started a group with like 17 girls that I just met. And we made it like a secret private group on Facebook so we didn't have any like <laughs> random guys or whoever, you know, just that it would be safe. Yep. So it started there and now it's grown to over 300 some people and it's all, uh, you know, female oriented and um, yeah. I, I did see, on, I, I double checked, I saw all riders are welcome today. So I was like, okay, I'll check yeah, it out. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> and so once in a while we'll do a co-ed ride just because obviously it's fun to have, you know, yeah. we love the male support. The, the male support in the bike community has been amazing. Mm -hmm. um, I didn't know any thing about motorcycles and when you don't know anything and you're you feel kind of helpless and like oh what do I do so um, meeting a bunch of guys and then being like oh yeah we can help you with that oh yeah you need an oil change let me show you how to do that mm. it was really empowering and so and since day one everybody's been such an like empowering wonderful support to the speaking of support right here <laughs> hey, um, yeah Moira Let's jump see. in this is actually she's been amazing <laughs> Yes, and supportive with Pomodo and all <laughs> things, and just making sure, like, you know, everybody gets the support and love that they need, so it's really good. Yeah, I did I did a quick search online. That's that's my go-to, Google, yeah. and, and it seems around 2018 or so, the female ridership has gone way up. Way up, so yeah. Like, 20 is it like 25 percent i saw of all riders are now Absolutely. ladies that's and, awesome and they they want to ride they're out there they they see it and they're like i want to get into it today actually mm. this morning at cosmic a girl came up to she's like oh my gosh you all ride i ride i don't know who to ride with that that is like all the conversation every time i get on my motorcycle yeah and so there's just like this this need of like people need community and need support and so that's what Fumoto is it's just a place safe place where people can feel supported and empowered and however yeah. we can do that we, we do that. We would do monthly rides before COVID. We did like a monthly beginner ride. We did some like maintenance stuff to like, hey, how do you clean the train on your bike? How do you change the oil on your bike? Stuff yeah. like that. We work with different dealers to do like maintenance days there. So it's really just about supporting and empowering women. So what do you what do you ride? You've got a I, Ducati hat I on, but. I ride a few things. Yeah, so I ride a Ducati Street Fighter. I also have a Kalex 250. 
um, a CB350. I have a few Honda dirt bikes, so 150s, um, and then a Yamaha R6. So, and I started wow. on a Ninja 650. Oh, so okay. I had a Ninja 650 first, a great beginner bike, and then I, I really like fast the, though. Yeah, I really liked the sport bike look, so mm -hmm. I had like the R6 was my first motorcycle. Oh, okay. Um, that I really learned on. I've had that thing for eight years, ripped on it, loved it, loved love it. Take it to the track, take it to the street. I love that thing. And what do you, what do you, you have any uh, suggestions for ladies that are thinking about getting into it? What, what's uh, some good advice? I would say, um, yeah, uh, ride your own ride. Mm -hmm. That is like the advice in, in every sense of the word because it, it can feel really, um, you know, you're in a male dominated industry. It can feel like you don't fit in. You can feel like you don't have a place. You can feel like kind of mansplained or you can feel and it's just like just ride your own ride in whatever capacity that means. You know, if you're the slowest person on the ride, so what? Make them wait for you. You're yeah. learning. Yeah. Like it's fine. And so I would say just do you and don't 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 feel like do it with like tits out kind of thing. Like, yeah. you know. Miss me. And so, <laughs> um, but yeah, I would say just make sure you ride your own ride. Yeah, and that goes back to again to know who you're riding with and yep. then you know who your friends are, you know yep. how they ride and yep and just do your own thing. Yeah, if everyone else has got lots of experience and yeah. they can do track and, days and learn and all from that. them, like learn from it. Yeah. I ask so many questions and I try to learn as much as possible from everybody yeah. always around me. And um, yeah, and it's amazing. And this, this community is really special here in Austin specifically because mm -hmm. it's really close and everybody knows each other and everyone really wants to help everyone. Yeah, yeah. So I'm, I feel pretty lucky to yeah. be a part of it, but yeah. Yeah, the bike community is pretty supportive. I mean, it for the is. most part, I've yeah. I've learned so much from you know my little YouTube channel here. Yeah. I, I get people from like the UK or they'll throw they've been riding for like forty years and they'll throw me like, hey, you know, you should think about buying this or do that. You did yeah. that wrong. Or I was like, oh, cool, I, I learned something. It's you know, so, so fun. Awesome. Yeah, I had a guy on a ride. I led a ride for the Ducati Riders of Austin uh, for the MotoGP, uh, and we had posted everywhere. And um, I'm an admin for that group too, and so, hence the hat. And so. Um, <laughs> But yeah, we uh, we rode, I let it ride for that, and it was probably about 30 people, and it was, it was a good little ride, quick, pretty quick pace, and this guy came up to me, he's like, man, I've never seen a woman lead a ride, and he was like, and it was just, it was so well done, like, so amazing, I, so I think that it's cool to see women kind of come up in this community, and people like Moira have been really supportive of that, and, and so many others have been really like, yeah, do it, like, do the thing, mm. and just step in and do it, because a lot of times people are just afraid to just do the thing, yeah, it's yeah. like, if you're the one doing it, people are going to follow, people are going to do it, yep. so it's really cool. Yeah, when I did my MSF uh, course out here, I had three ladies in my, my yeah. group of, I don't know, 12, 15 people, something like that. And two of them were 60, over 60 years old. I know, I love it. And they're getting it. a license. I was like... I love it. Uh, yeah, love it, it. they were just like... And that's more common than you know. So gung-ho. Yeah, I've had, there's uh, one lady that really inspires me in San Antonio, Elizabeth Waltman. She, yeah, got her MSF. She's doing track days. She's going overseas. <laughs> doing, it's like, it's amazing. Yeah. Because it's so fun and it's so cool to see that because it, it's, it's so inspiring. And you're like, man, if she can do it, I can do it. Yeah, like and riding, good. it's hard to explain, but it's just when you do it by yourself, solo rides, yes. it's like meditation on oh, wheels, absolutely. you know, it's just, that's it's, exactly yeah. what it is, that's how you say it, yeah, and yeah, so. and I also teach women how to ride, I teach guys too, but I mostly focus on women, <clears throat> uh, that's what I do with the little dirt bikes that I have, I have my house, so we, I okay, cool. Ride. All right. Well, I won't take any more of your time. I know you're going out to grab some tacos. Yeah. So it's nice, nice to meet you, and I'll good. definitely see you again because I do go out to these as, as much as possible. Yeah. So, the, you know, the Moto Social and all the other ones that are, yeah, was it the Ride Five One Two? And yep. there's a bunch of different yep. groups and revival cycles, yep. and they it's have their it's meetups. you can pretty Everybody much every night's a different meetup. Here yeah, you can every week. You got something going yep. on here. Yep. All right. So that's cool. Well, nice to meet you. All right. Take care. Bye. See Hey, we're here with Maria, someone I just met, a um, new friend. So Maria, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Yeah, so um, I understand from someone that was here that you are an ambassador for Indian motorcycles. Yes. And that is pretty cool. So tell me, how, how did that happen? Um, so I became an ambassador about two years ago, and how that happened was they literally sent out applications for it, and I just applied. And then uh, Indian reached out to me, and they said, "Oh, like we want you to come out of Austin for a photo shoot." But they hadn't like confirmed that I was part of the ambassador thing. So I said, "Okay," and I thought it was like a scam call, you know. So were you were you living in Austin? I was living in Lubbock, Texas. Oh, okay. Yes. So 
I was living out there, they flew me out to Austin, and we did this photo shoot for a weekend, and then a week later, they called me and said, hey, we want you to be an ambassador. Um, and so basically, being an ambassador is um, just representing the brand, and you know, we all have to own Indian motorcycles, so I own a 2021. Oh, and that's terrible, right? I know, Twist right? your arm. Yeah. So I own a 2021 I want to be a vintage dark horse. <laughs> yeah. So, so what what are you what are you riding? It's like a, it's kind of like this one actually. It's an Indian dark it's horse. An Indian dark horse. Oh, okay, yeah. that's yeah, that's a nice bike. Yeah, it's a now they call it Springfield. They changed the name. Okay. But um, but yeah, it has like all the fringes and like it's all murdered out. And what if what is this one right here? This one is a chieftain. Oh okay. Because it has the fairing like here with the radio and all that stuff. So yours doesn't have the fairing. Right. It's like the same bike without the fairing, and then okay. the bags are leather. And is yours, um, is yours like blacked out or? Yes, oh, okay. everything is like That's black. sweet, that's nice. So, and I've been riding for about six years now. That's cool, so you, how, how many kind of events do you have to Ooh, go so, to and be involved in? So we have to do 10 events every mm -hmm. year. Um, they can be affiliated with dealerships or charity events. Um, it can be moto, cycle, like bike nights, mm -hmm. um, anything that's involved with motorcycles. As long okay. as we're there and that we're representing Indian with our bikes, mm -hmm. then that's that's what they want. So. And do you have do you have like a YouTube channel or like Instagram or any of that? Instagram. It is Mari M A R I Viscous. So V I S C O U S. All right, well, that's very cool. Too bad you didn't have your bike today. I'd like to check it out. I know, I you, know. you just kind of showed up here. You didn't know what was going I on. I know. I had no <laughs> idea this was going on. Like, I would have 100% been here for the ride with you guys. But I'll do it next time, I'm sure, and you'll see the bike. And... Yeah, I just did my last video, or not my last one. The one before that I did, I went up to Bell County Motor Works oh. and did a little thing on Indian, and they've got some, some yes. awesome bikes. They saw there was a chief there, Dark Horse, and all yep. the scouts, and... Some yeah. really cool bikes up there. Yeah, that's a really good dealership. I, I really like them. Yeah. They've always... I think I have a friend there, um, John Paulson. Yeah, John. Yep. You know John? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah he was in... He actually is in that video with me. Oh, really? So check it out. Oh, yeah. Yay. It was fun. I, I, did, I had to twist John's arm to get in there, but he, yeah, he's awesome. Okay. <laughs> All right. Well, thank you so much for taking the time to, to chat, and uh, hope to see you again soon. For sure. Have a nice so ride. The sun is out now. Yes. All right. See you later. Take care. Bye. Bye. So that wraps up my visit here today. Met some very cool people. Hope you enjoyed the video. Met some new friends. Checked out some new cool bikes. And uh, that's it. So I'm going to ride home. Got about a 50 minute ride home. And we'll see you next time. Later.